now, after two years, I started writing a lot, getting a lot of inspiration to do things actively again. And I think that this is the start of that I'm considering. So today, we're actually going to hear like a brand spanking new song yeah. that's going to be Free, coming out like really soon, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, um, I'll be releasing a single called We Rise. I actually played it with Urban Theory right before we cool. right before we broke up. That was one of the last songs that we released, but we never released it digitally, okay. right? Just kind of at shows. And since then, I've recorded it and kind of mastered it and brought it together in its fruition. Well, do you think you're ready to play it? You yes, to it? yes. So is that the song we want to start off with? Um, or what song do you want sure. to start off? No, let's start out with that one. That way people know what we're talking about. Okay, so what's it yeah. called? This song is called We Rise. We Rise. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is there any story to it? Um, or just a good song? It's just a good song. I, I have some other songs that I've got stories for, but this one is basically just about the evolution of self, kind of speaking of the word fruition, coming into fruition with yourself and your best self. Awesome, okay, yeah. let's hear it. You pick up that guitar. Yeah, we got so, it. Yeah, cool. Much more Wired in the form of excitement For what's divided in the soul See the world for just what it is But flip it up on the eye For those who may
Goodness, Ryan, that was awesome. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. I appreciate that. I, I am so curious because this is my first time hearing that song. And how did, how did it change from being in a full band to that? Like, yeah. what, what's the difference between a full band version, oh, man. Of, version of that song? Yeah, I could go on forever talking about that. Um, that's why it's so interesting playing alone after all these years. Yeah. Um, having a band to back you up is... An incredible feeling, first of all, and it also leaves some capacity to kind of back off and relax a little bit, yeah, you know, and just yeah. let loose. Whereas when I'm playing by myself, there's so much to pay attention to. Like I'm, I'm it. Yeah, know? and it's so all, it's yeah, you're but, all in. Yeah, like with that song there, I when playing it with Urban Theory, the second verse I wouldn't even play guitar. I just let right. the bass take it away and Christian doing his lead guitar, and I would just kind of sing and close my eyes and get really into it. And here I'm kind of you know I'm having to really watch myself and yeah. make sure I'm not messing up. Right. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, but it sounds like I mean that's a powerful song. You know, certain Thank songs you. they just like there, there's like there's space in there. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that's the right terminology, but I feel like yeah. there's a lot going on around the song. That's that's another thing too. Um, you'll hear once I release the um, this song, which I'm releasing on Spotify, iTunes, all that, in about a month to a month and a half. Okay. Release date to be determined. I've got a music video I'm working on. Um, the bridge. You remember that part that kind of broke down? Yeah. yeah. That's like you know. It's got drums, it's got bass, it's got harmonies, it's got like four layers of lead guitar on it. It's oh so goodness. this was so stripped down yeah. compared to what you're what you're going to hear. But that is so cool. I mean it's 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 nice to have different versions of songs. Yeah. Like, you know, this is like I, I love stripped down versions of it. This like gets down to the essence. I'm starting to warm up to them too. Yeah. Right? Yeah. For me I was always like, No, no, super against especially my own music. Okay. You know? But now I'm starting to warm up. But that's funny, like that even down. like you like when I think of some of like yours and Liam's music when you're playing Beatles covers, yeah. it, they're kind of stripped that's, down. That's totally. Yeah, that's, and, but that's even with Beatles. Down. Yeah, Beatles early songs, they kind of are stripped down. Yeah, yeah, and that's why people will say like, oh, they'll request us to play like All You Need Is Love or Hey Jude, and it's like, man, you couldn't have picked the more band-oriented song. Exactly. You know? Like, how about we do, uh, how about we do You've Got To Hide Your Love Away instead? That's a good one. Yeah. Hey. You got yeah, yeah, just a guitar and vocals and a flute at the end, of course, which I whistle <laughs> instead. No, you guys are always yeah. amazing with that one. Thank so, you, so let me ask you about this album. You got it, it's coming out in a month and a half. Is it like the a full single, album yeah. EP? Well, or? so I've got the single coming out for We Rise. That's done. It's mastered. I could I could have you play it right now. I just want to release it with the yeah. music video. Yeah. I think it's a great way to kind of uh, send it off. Yeah. And um, after that, I've got about six songs five or six songs that are done. They're okay. also mixed. They're not mastered yet. They're practically done being mixed. Um, and I'm just going to consider that an EP. Okay. You single EP, a couple of the songs we, you know, I wrote with Urban Theory and played a couple times live. Mm -hmm. um, most of them will be new songs. That is so yeah. cool. Yeah. So how did, like, who did you get? Did you get some of your past collaborators from Urban Theory and other people to play on the album? Yeah, actually, we a lot of what's recorded for it was back when Urban Theory was together, okay. and we just never released it. And we all agreed. We kind of got together for one last band meeting. This was two years ago, and we were like, "Okay, guys, we need to release this. Like, right. we can't just let it sit archived in Jake's yeah. you know, Mac <laughs> in his studio." Shout out again mm -hmm. to Jake Ward. Check him out online. Watch me breathe, actually, which I'm Been playing bass for. I don't know if he told you. Yeah. Um, yeah. And anyways, I, I digress. Uh, uh, yeah. And so we kind of all agreed that I would release it some way or another. And I had talked to them a couple months later th saying, hey, how do you feel about me releasing this under my solo name, but yeah. giving you guys full credit, royalties, and promoting it, saying that some of these songs are unreleased Urban Theory songs. And they were totally down. I was surprised. I thought that a couple of them would be against it, but they were all very supportive. They were like, no, do it, cool please, guys. get They're it out. Friends. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and you know, we, we still jam. Yeah. yeah, we still jam and everything, so yeah. it's good. Uh, okay, well, let's hear another song. Yeah. What, yeah. what do you got next? So this next song is actually one of my favorites off the... Uh, 
off the EP um, that I'm going to release. This is also another single. So the last one I played, We Rise, and then this next one, it's called uh, Find Me Here. Okay, cool. And, and this is this is going to be eventually when the album comes out on the EP? Yes, okay, yes. Cool. And also another stripped down song. It's, you know, usually got piano, bass, multiple guitars, harmonies, this and that. Yeah. Um, so keep that in mind. Okay, awesome. Let's hear it. Also, I'm not getting anything. When I've been playing, I've been hearing my voice, and that's about it. So I'm just going to take this off while I play. Thank you. We'll see as if long we can as fix Let it. me know if I'm getting too far. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm following your guitar. Here. Cool. Yeah.
Okay, you are listening to the Event Santa Cruz Radio Show on KSQD Santa Cruz 90.7. Thank you everybody for tuning in. That was Ryan Green. This is uh, music that you can, you just can't hear anywhere else besides this show. So we got some KSQD, I guess, exclusives. Isn't that true, Ryan? Yes, yeah. actually. Um, I don't think anybody's heard this other than my close friends since the Crate Place circa uh-huh. 2000. 17, 18. Oh goodness, <laughs> time goes by. It does. Well, well, now you have, you know, thousands of friends are listening to, to it. So, I, yeah. So, Shout out to everybody. if people want to find out more about, like, just to get, like, updated, like, where do they go on social media to find out more about you? Um, so, uh, mainly Instagram. I'd okay. say that's the most, mm-hmm. um, the platform I'm most active on, posting stories what, what's too your, often, what's your, in fact. Your, uh, your account handle? Mr. Yeah, it's uh, Mr. Ryan Green. So that's M-R underscore Ryan Green. R-Y-A-N-G-R-E-E-N. Okay. Everybody yeah. go over there and yeah. follow Mr. Ryan Green. Yeah, I will have a Facebook music page coming soon, probably when I release the song. You, you have an assignment within a month yes. to get that yeah. going. Yeah, Tucked. clock's ticking. And if you want to hear the replay video of this show, you can also go to Event Santa Cruz tomorrow, eventsantacruz.com, and watch the video. Um, we only have a certain <laughs> amount of time, so I want to hear some more music. You have five songs for us. Yeah, I, four would do. Let's honestly. do four. One was an extra. Yeah, yeah let's okay. do four. Let, let's do the next song. What's the next song? So the next song, this song is called uh, No One I'd Rather Know. Um, I wrote it about a specific special somebody who I, I hope is listening right now. I think she, she is I listening. Think she's she listening. said. Oh, she I is. I sent okay. her a picture of you already. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Well, this one goes out to her. You know who you are. Sarah. <laughs> How did I know you were going to yeah. bring it up? Okay. Um, let's see. And this one just in case. Just in case. Okay. So you have your phone on dark mode? Ooh. What, wait, what do you mean? Is it like it's dark? Isn't is it? it? Oh, I mean, the brightness is just on. I'm just having this. It's my newest song, so I'm, okay. I'm just, I'm just, you know, fail safe right over here. That's good to have. Because there's 
no one I'd let QD Santa Cruz 90.7. What was the name of that song? That song was called No One I'd Rather Know. For Sarah Rose. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's let's talk about her. No, we're not going to mm. do too far about her. We're not going to embarrass her. Uh, oh, man. Was she, would, she would hate the, both of us, yeah. I think. I don't know. We are texting right now. Oh. I, I asked her to, if there's some embarrassing question I can ask you, but she's hey, not giving you know, me anything. You lay it on me. I'm, pre I'm prepared for this, but... Yeah. Okay, here it is. Here's an embarrassing oh, she, question. He's actually so doing it. You guys were, um, <laughs> you took a trip to Disneyland. We did, yeah. Yeah, we just got back last night. Yeah, um, Instagram in San Diego right after that. I want to know about Galaxy's Edge. Oh, I know this is a total geez. off ball, no, but, but no, no, was no. it the most no, no. amazing thing as a Star Wars fan to be in Galaxy Edge in Disneyland, or was it like, oh yeah, but I also, I did it for an hour and then I wanted to go back to Disneyland. No, I, we, we spent two days in Disneyland and we went there twice. Okay. Both days. Uh, we, the first night we didn't actually manage to ride the Millennium Falcon, so we had to go back for that. Yeah, but, for sure. But, like I told you out in the parking lot, spent like an hour in the cantina <laughs> and the, the kid in me was absolutely obsessed, enthralled, totally on the floor. Yeah. And then drinking alcohol mixed with that. You know, wearing the Yoda wearing, ears. That was for Sarah's. I stole those from her for a okay. Instagram. I did it for the gram. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it was it was surreal. I I wish that I could live there. I told Sarah if I could work there, I totally would. That I was would. like, you know, babe, I we may need to move to <laughs> Anaheim, Anaheim yeah. so that I can work here. Um, yeah. it, so it did it did really give you a sense of feeling of being yeah, in yeah, the Star Wars Yeah, it really world. did. I think that the sad part was we only were there, we did everything else in the day, and we were in Galaxy's Edge during the night. Okay. So, and I think I noticed that at night the characters don't come out at Disneyland. Oh, you don't see Mickey walking around, yeah, no. you don't see any of the characters. So therefore I didn't see any Stormtroopers, didn't see any Jedis. Oh, man. Yeah, the only I saw Star Wars looking people. You know okay, what I mean? Yeah. Like the people in the cantina, the bartenders, exactly. and the crew members walking around. Yeah. But... I didn't see any stormtroopers, and that kind of bothered me. So, sad. were you annoying to Sarah because you're so uh, geeking out, or was she like uh, kind of living it with no, you? No, she was the only way that I told her the only way that we can be together is if she's into Star Wars. And who, maybe she's lying to me, maybe she's being upfront and real, but she seemed to uh, okay be with it, yeah. at least half as stoked as me. Oh, that's good. If not just as stoked. So, so it worked out. I should have said that with my wife. I mean, Basically, we has, we had to have kids for having someone like so. I have someone to enjoy it with. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, honestly, I think that you know. And we were talking about this yesterday. There's like a separate. There's two different ways to enjoy Disneyland, like with your kids. Yeah. And then being just in your mid twenties. Exactly. Being able to you drink alcohol and you know do whatever you want with no schedule. You know, that's one thing I cannot do. I cannot not go back not, to my mid-20s. Not, yeah, <laughs> not advocating for alcoholism. You know what? But having a beer every now and then and going to Disneyland is is something that everybody How about going in your mid-40s? <laughs> With or without kids? With their kids, yeah. Right? Go for both. We actually did go to the Disney Cruise before we had kids, and mm. it was great, actually. Nice. Um, nice. That sounds fun. Wait, did, did you, uh, have you watched The Mandalorian yet? I, yes, I actually watched. Both I watched, yeah, I watched the second episode while we were in L.A. at our Airbnb. Thankfully, it, I was it, able to download Disney Plus on the TV they had, but, um, and then I watched it again last night. 
Uh, it's pretty cool. Just to, yeah. We just watched it again. A lot of Jawas in that. Oh, one. I'm looking forward to it. That's, that's my Game of Thrones. Everybody's obsessed about Game of Thrones. Mandalorian, I'm all over. Well, I think we lost half our um, our listenership oh, talking about Star Wars, yeah, maybe. I don't know. The music. Okay, let's hear back to the music. our last song. Last What's song. this last song? So this last song is called... Um, um, Oh my gosh! It's uh, this time around. It's another new one. It's it's a song that I wrote. It was actually the first song that I wrote in uh, during that two out two year okay. hiatus. I yeah. hadn't written a song in like a year and a half or so, and this was the first one in a while. So it was exciting for me. Awesome. Cool. Never been so easy to keep my head on straight and go for the kill. By the time I have said all I can say, and all that's been creeping in my subconscious mind, I nearly died with regret. Hold me down 
Wow, what a way to end off your appearance on KSQD Santa Cruz 90.7. That was awesome. I love that. I huh, appreciate it, man. That one takes it out of me. I always sweat after. That's another one that I really look forward to getting a band behind because yeah, not when I wrote it with the song in my head, it was not at all acoustic song. It's very orchestrated and heavy yeah dynamic and it's funny it's like i was saying it took a lot out of me just listening to it it seems i mean it's like a, it's there's some generous. energy there yeah, yeah definitely cool okay so your album comes out sometime in like a month next, and a half or oh no yeah. album, the single. single comes out in the next yeah. month and a half or so and i plan on hopefully getting the whole album out by a month or two after that yeah awesome yeah. cool so go, go to um his instagram mr underscore ryan green and that's mr not Mr. Spelled out. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, MR, not Mr. Yes. Cool. Hey, thank you so much, Ryan. Yeah, man. Thank you again for having me. It's been great. Yes. Now, here's a song we talked about.